Uh, is this uh, recording? Okay. Um, I'd like to talk about uh, prime factorization. Um, now, let's say we have a number like, now let's pick a good number like, say, 60. Okay. So let's start with 60. And um, let's suppose we want to decompose 60 into. Um, prime factors. Okay, well, uh, let's just try to think of a number which um, divides 60, uh, for example. Well, it's an even number, so 2. Okay, so 2. Um, so let me just write this factor over here. Uh, 2 times what equals 60? 2 times 30. Okay, great. Okay, now 30 uh, is, first of all, 2 cannot be divided by anything but 1 or itself. It's a prime number. Uh, however, 30 can be divided again by 2, and can also be divided by its conjugate 15. Okay, and then uh, 15 can be divided by 3, and its conjugate would be 5. Okay, now you notice that actually all of these nodes at the ends of the tree are prime numbers. Uh, that is to say that they're divisible by only the numbers 1 and themselves. And uh, therefore, we are essentially done. And we can say now that 60 is equal to uh, 2 times 2 times 3 times Five. Oh, there we are. All right. So this is called the prime factorization of 60. And the shortcut would be to write it as a product of powers of unique primes. And you notice that 2 occurs twice in this um, factorization. So we can just simply write 2 times 2 as 2 squared times 3. Now, 3 to the 1, technically, but we don't, you know, we could write a 1 there, but, you know, let's not write a 1 there. Okay, there's no point in there. So, times 5. Perfect. So, this is the prime factorization of 60. And let's just write this prime factorization. Prime factor. I'm having some trouble with this. <laughs> I think I need a pen tablet. Okay. But it's not too bad. Okay, factorization. You can spell it with Z if you want, but um, yeah, I think there's two acceptable spelling. Uh, okay, right. So this is the prime factor. Um, I said that enough times. All right, let's just save it. And what I want to do is I want to stop the recording. Okay. Um, thanks for listening.